welcome back and so here it is and here i am episode 37 of uh orthodox review the most uneducated educational program on the internet today i certainly don't let my lack of education get in the way of enjoying a good book and today we're going to enjoy a really good book this is saint seraphim's beatitudes uh, from saint innocent press and uh it's just a darling book but we got to do the shilling before that gotta say uh if you're looking uh, for a way to support the show um we do have a patreon link will be uh down below where uh we do have uh, exclusive content for our patrons uh we have uh, daily reflections we've got uh, prayer services uh readings of patristics uh and uh, a lot more on the way so um if uh if you're so inclined, please perfectly consider uh, supporting the show that way. Um, if you're looking to support the show in other ways, maybe a one-time gift, um, there is a PayPal tip jar, a link also below. Also, there is an Amazon list with uh, books for review. Uh, if you're looking to donate a book, um, which uh, that's actually happened, which is really cool. Uh, anyway, so so there, there's there's a couple things to, to kind of consider. Uh, anyway, let's let's get to the get to the biscuits and gravy here. <laughs> um, Saint Seraphim's Beatitudes, uh, blessings of our path to heaven, based on the life of uh, the wonder worker of Sarav, Saint Seraphim. Gosh, all right. So, full disclosure, I love children's books. I love children, and I love children's books. I love their simplicity. I try to be as simple as I possibly can. Um, you know, our Lord said, uh, you know, suffer the little, little children to come unto me, for it is to such as these that belongs the kingdom of heaven. And uh, in keeping with that, I like to keep things nice and simple. Um, as to the construction of the book, let's face it, kids' books are built to take a beating, and this is no exception. Now. I'm I'm not going to tell you a whole lot about the contents of the book as far as what's written. Oh, uh, text is by Father Daniel Marshall. Uh, the art is by Paul uh, Drozowski, and uh, it's this wonderful watercolor and pen. And I was I was actually just speaking um, to someone uh, from San Innocent Press, and I get lost in this artwork. Yeah, call me simplistic. Call me what you will. But it's uh, it's easy to get lost in such beautiful artwork, especially like this is one of my favorites right here, where it's kind of depicting the obediences of Saint Seraphim on his way, on his on his journey, um, you know, before he was a monk, you know, and they taught him to bake. And and what's what's interesting, what I love is that you have the spirits of the righteous before him looking over him, and here, you know, we even have Saint Romanos the Melodist up here in uh, the corner when he's learning to sing, and. Uh, uh, the archangel uh, watching over him while he prays um, and it's just little details like that um, there's a great um, it's just it's beautiful it's just really beautiful uh, there was actually something <laughs> in the text that stuck uh, it kind of that struck me it stuck out to me um, and I'm I, I should have written it down. There was one thing in there. It was just so simple and so beautiful. Um, there's a little, here's a little look into his cell and his icons. And this is, of course, the depiction of the first healing he, he performed. Um, but it, it, it is just kind of a step-by-step. -step, uh, it, it shows your kids uh, the very simple way that we can live a Christian life. Uh, by following Saint Seraphim's um, example, and here it is. It says right here, and I love it. Um, Father uh, Father Daniel did did a great job here. Uh, says it makes no difference if we are healthy or sick, rich or poor, happy or sad. We are always able to pray. Bam. And what's my excuse? <laughs> At any rate, what just what a darling book. The artwork is fantastic. The colors are vivid. Um, now, of course, um, you know your your three to five year old might not sit down with this book, but you can read it to them. Um, uh, although, 
I don't know, what, what age do kids start reading text this small? I mean, not that it's small, but I like reading to kids. That's my thing. Um, at any rate, I'm not going to show you the whole book. Well, maybe I will. I don't know. It's just beautiful. I just love sharing it. It's just... I'm, I'm not even really talking about the book. I just want you to take a look at it, because if you have children, folks, um, and, and you're looking for something beneficial to read for them, something simple that, that's going to both enrich them and you as you read, this would be the one to go to it. And you know what? I'm going to throw it out there. Take your catechetical books and toss them. You know, oh, I love that. St. Nicholas, right? During the uh, beatification. Oh, oh, here's, here's another Easter egg that I noticed. Check this out. Tell me. Tell me that's not St. Xenia of St. Petersburg. <laughs> At any rate, fantastic book, beautifully written, beautifully uh, appointed, great artwork. Um, I'll leave a link uh, below to order it from uh, St. Innocent Press, or, you know, you can get these on Amazon or whatever, but, uh, you know, support the publisher by direct. Um, man, yeah, if, uh, you know what I love about children's books in the church is that I think... I think they're just as beneficial for, for us adults as they are for the children we read them to because it, it, it brings us back to the simplicity of our faith. And, you know, as adults, we get so wrapped up in, in theology and patristics, and, and sometimes it's nice to just go back um, to, to that innocent time and, and just learn the basics and re you know, remember that we are all children to our Lord. Um, we're his children, and it's a uh, it's a blessing to be able to 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 see things as a child. At any rate, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, like, share, subscribe, yada yada yada, whatever. I know, I'm actually getting a little misty right now. I'm I'm, I'm really touched by uh, um, by not only the book but but what it represents and, and how it makes me feel. So anyway, Lent trudges on, and so must we. Uh, thank you again for joining me. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please hit me up in the comments below. Um, that is by far one of my favorite things about this channel, is uh, getting to talk to everyone. And um, don't forget to go to church, say your prayers, and remember God. God bless.